Okay, welcome to the multiplying polynomials uh, outcome for FRC. Uh, so this is the only video on this one, so let's just jump right in. Here we go. Next. Okay, so uh, there's only one rule actually as it turns out, and the rule goes as follows. To multiply polynomials, uh, multiply every term of the first polynomial by every term of the second polynomial, okay? So our first example, 4D times 2 plus 3D. That's pretty straightforward, actually. We just multiply 4D times 2, which gives me 8D. Then we multiply 4D times 3D, which gives us 12D squared. So I just simply multiply every term of the first polynomial, which is just 4D, by every term of the second polynomial, which is 2 plus 3D. Here's our next example. Again, there's only one rule. Multiply every term of the first polynomial by every term of the second polynomial. So we have a first polynomial, x plus 7, and we have a second polynomial, x minus 4. So, in my first polynomial, I will multiply x times x, excuse me, x squared. Then I will multiply x times 4, which, or times negative 4, sorry, which gives me minus 4x. Then I will take 7 and multiply it by x, which is plus 7x. And then finally 7 times negative 4, which gives me negative 28. Okay, this next one has actually been copied incorrectly by the computer. So we actually want this, x plus 5 squared. x plus 5 squared, uh, we have to be very, very careful with the square. Okay, The square really means take x plus 5 and multiply it by x plus 5. That's what a square means, right? Take a number or an expression and multiply it by itself. So we don't square just the x and the 5. We multiply the entire binomial by the other binomial. Okay, let's do that then. So then this is equal to x times x, which is x squared, x times 5, which is 5x. Now 5 times x, which is another 5x. And then 5 times 5, which is 25. That all works out to x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, next. Okay, we have an, a problem here. 3g plus 2 times 2g minus 3. I'd like you to pause in a moment and try it yourself. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, so we get 3g plus 2 times 2g minus 3. So I will take 3g, and let me just write it out in full. I will multiply 3g times 2g minus 3, and I will multiply 2 times 2g minus 3. This is a long way of writing it out, but I think it gets to the point. I'm going to take 3g from the first expression and multiply it by 2g minus 3, and then take the second term, 2, and multiply it by every term of the second polynomial. Let's see what that gives me. 3g times 2g is 6g squared. 3g times minus 3 is minus 9g. 2 times 2g is 4g. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Putting it all together, we get 6g squared minus 5g minus 6. I hope that's what you got. Let's try the next I'd like you to... Oh, looks like we had an error again. I guess the squares don't work. So this should actually be 2 f squared. Pause now and try it yourself. Okay, welcome back. Here, here's uh, our expression so far. So I took 2f squared times f plus 2. That gave me 2f cubed plus 4f squared. Then I took minus 3f and multiplied it by f plus 2, and that gave me minus 3f squared minus 6f. Then I took 
minus 4 and multiplied it by f plus 2, and that gave me minus 4f minus 8. Combining everything together, we get 2f cubed, the only cube term, 4f squared minus 3f squared is 1f squared, or just f squared, and then we have minus 10f by combining the minus 6f and the minus 4f, and finally we have a minus 8 on the end, and we're done. And finally one problem, okay, again our software does not like squares, but we fixed it, so this is our problem, pause and try. Okay, this is a tricky one. There's actually two multiplications in there, so I'm, I'm trying to up the level on you. Here we go. The first thing we're going to do is multiply x plus 3 times x plus 3, and I'll put that result in a bracket all by itself. So let's just do that only. x plus 3 squared, then, is x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Again, check a couple slides before. Uh, to see what happens when you square a binomial. In the other case here, we have a multiplication that is x plus 1 times x minus 2. That gives me x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. You see I have two different multiplications. So in the red one, I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. And in the white one, I have x squared minus x minus 2. And you see I'm taking, I'm subtracting one from the other. But let's do that now. So putting it all together, we have x squared minus x squared, which is 0. Oh, good. We have 6x minus negative x, which is 7x. And we have 9. Oops. Oh, <laughs> we have an arrow. We have 9 minus negative 2 which is actually 11. And there we go. I hope that worked for you. Thanks.